Welcome back to another thermal comparison with Fall River Shooters. Today we're going to see if some scopes do better in fog than the others. Alright, let's get started here. So, we're going to start by looking at the trees way back behind the Albertson store there. Um, so just to the little left of the power pole or of this light post you can see a power pole way back there and there's some trees on the left and the right okay so I'm just going to show you that so you can see which ones you can see it with the best okay All right, let's go over here. Let's see. All right, you can see a water tower way out there. So if you lift it up higher, you can see more that one to see how they do comparatively so notice you go down you come up let's change how much you can see okay now what we'll do is we'll come over here and look at these cows I'll get them all focused here real quick So, there's those cows, um, they're just, just shy of 200 yards away. Okay, let's zoom in. because they all just aren't quite lined up perfect. Oh, they're pretty good. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and zoom in one more time. Yeah, so, okay. Give the sense of the field of view here.
the fog set in really heavy this evening, so I made another video. We're looking at two railroad ties that you can just barely see, and then as you watch the cars go by, you can see how well you can see 220 yards. Through the eyepiece, the XQ50 Pro did have a slight advantage over the other two for cutting through the fog. Let us know which image you like best in the comments below. Also, feel free to ask any questions, and if you're in the market for a new thermal scope, check us out at fallrivershooters.com.